Howdy folks, welcome to the 3D Sapiens Roadshow, your host Dan Davis here. I am at Nelder Creek, that's the gurgling behind me there. Um, and this little area green is kind of an oasis. If you look around, everything else is burned out, including the big guy here. This is up, 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 but he's alive. So he's a tough, tough mofo guy. Um, the creek has been diverted through this culvert, so that's kind of ugly. But um, otherwise, there's a few birds around, as you can see, and some flowers down here. Okay, so I'm on a day hike out of Nelder Grove, which I'll show you here on a map. But I'm going to show you some flowers and whatnot here. The highlights of the stop, shall we say. Okay, so I am on a day hike out of Nelder Grove. I have the entire campsite to myself. Can't go wrong with that. Let me show you on the map where I'm at. Okay, so. The usual campsite by Goat Meadow is right up here. So, um, Nelder Grove is down here now. I've been coming here for the last, this is I think my third time here now. Okay, so um, the last few videos will have been shot here at Nelder Grove. So I hiked up here, and I'm right here at this blue line. If you see that blue, this is Nelder Creek. All right. This other creek by the campsite is actually California Creek. I found on another map because it's not marked on this one. Anyway, so this is California Creek. This is Nelder Creek. So this dotted line right here, I'm on a hike right here. I should be joining the trail that comes down here. Um, right about here any time now. And then I'm going to continue up to this 5S18 and then down to the main road, the 6S90 that leads to Sugar Pine. So theoretically you could drive from Sugar Pine over to Nelda Grove. That's the idea. So I'm scouting it, I'm hiking. I'm on this part right here. Today I'm going to continue on all the way here like this until I hit the road from Sugar Pine and then back to the campsite. So that's the plan. And again, Nelder Creek is where I'm at. And real quick to show you, uh, whoa. for those of you new to hiking, again, what I'm taking, small day pack, I got about half a gallon of water, two of these glass jars. I don't do plastic, folks, it's not good. A couple hats for various reasons, um, some munchies and whatnot. Binoculars, glasses, lighter, flashlight, because you never know how long it's gonna take. And as far as clothing goes, let me just show you real quick. Let's see if I can do this. Oops. Okay. Let me give you a little scale here. Okay, so, um, old shirt, which I found this is the easiest way to, um, deal with it. Is it open? Is it closed? If it's closed, it's... You want a lot of air, especially with a backpack on, so... Um, but you don't want flaps flapping around, so I found this is the easiest way. I'm not trying to look like Marianne, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, just sit right back, and you'll hear a tale. A tale of a fateful trip. It started out... When, well, never mind. It's about a three-hour tour that went bad. But anyway, um, I'm not trying to look like a Midwestern farmer's girl or whatever, but... Uh, so, uh, casual, again, a lot of air for the backpack. Pants, because I go off-piste quite a bit. Um, <laughs> off-piste, that's French, sorry. Off-trail, off-track. Um, and there's a lot of plants, bushes, whatever, that'll scratch your legs easy. So I tend to wear these, but they're very, very thin. Mosquitoes will bite through them, so you got to be careful about that. Hat for the sun, scrunchie for the hair, because um, it tends to blow into my face and whatever, end up in my mouth. And again, shoes skate shoes because I'd rather be light on my feet than have big clunky boots that tie me down or whatever. So um, so that's the plan for today. This is the typical kind of hiking gear, again, for those of you new to this kind of thing. Um, now this area has, you know, like I said, it's burned out and whatever. Oh, and the hat, by the way, this was, this hat is, I figured out, it's 26 years old. I got it in December 92 when I went to go see the gorillas and in Zaire, which was, that's Z, the Office de la Route, the 
transportation office in Zaire. Um, anyway, this was given to me by the boss to help identify, whatever, anyway. Um, so, memories walking through the forest, I thought this was perfect. Anyway, so that's the outfit, and that's the plan, that's the map. Always carry a good map. Camera, because you never know what you're going to see. Um, someday I keep hoping I'll run into Bigfoot and have a talk with him, but, um, anyway, <clears throat> until then, Dan Davis signing off, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, get out here and enjoy nature. Au revoir.